welcome back to another video so today i'm in snowdonia i've not been here since the first day of lockdown i'm coming to do the pig track and down the miners and i'm not on my own today i'm with my good friend gaz and his brothers and gaz i've not seen gaz for oh 10 years, Ten years. Um, he's moved over to australia but he's back over for three weeks for his brother's wedding and we'd, he's come over here and he's decided that we're going to go back up here we used to come up here all the time and it's guys who i did a uh, kilimanjaro with back in the day 2010 i think it was wasn't it it was smashed it that was easy wasn't it it was easy except we didn't do the safari at the bottom which we should have done <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was like we'll go back and do it another time <laughs> never did yeah but it was good um yeah and that was a hell of an experience so it's good to get back out here today something different with the lads it was forecast for rain but we've got blue skies it's all looking good yeah i'm gonna take on the journey <laughs> Weather's looking great today. I think today will be do will be a great day for Cribcock, but not for these bikes. There we go. So on the pig, follow this track round. You can see everyone up there. I know this is kind of like a standard walk, and to be honest with you, I don't really come up here. You know I love Trifan, but I've done Snowden about 50 times. I used to do it every fortnight or every week if I could when I was training for Kilimanjaro all those years ago. So just got a little bit bored of it but it's been ages since i've come here and it's a nice clear day today and the reason for coming out is to meet up with gaz again gaz and his brothers as i say it's 10 years since i've seen him so i almost didn't come but i got up this morning thought let's get here it's a late start it's like 10 o'clock again i'm normally down from here at nine in the morning so stick with me i'll try and tell you a little bit about the route just in case you've never done it before or if you fancy doing it it's probably the most direct way up most one of the most popular routes the only nightmare with this is why and why i don't really do it these days is the parking because i like to come nice and early you have to park at Pen penny pass car park and today 20 quid fortune you can park down at clanberries and get the little shuttle bus across i don't know how much it is but i don't know what time they run but again i like to start early normally so but that always is an option anyway i'm gonna go catch up with the lads won't be as much filming today because i do want to chat more but I'll take you on the journey Good little scramble up here. Anyone blowing yet? Oh yeah, I'm good. <laughs> 20 minutes ago. Look, Gaz the Scally and his trackies. <laughs> trackies and trainers, straight typical out hiker. Newton, straight out Newtonie. I've got shots on them. <laughs> the cloud on the, on the hills there. But it's warm, so I'm going to take this jacket off. Back to the t-shirt, that's all we need. So just in front, you can probably see a little bit of lower cloud. Should be nice cooler when we get into that. And you know what, I've only just remembered now, all this distance we've come, I've only just remembered to start my watch to record it. Gutted. <laughs> but as always, it's a straightforward route, but if you want to follow it, the route will be in the description down below. Same with all of my walks. But if you've never done Snowden, it is a good walk to do. And I do advise this route. Right, so as you get to the top of the section, you'll see this sign and you'll see the tarn below. And this is the miners' path that will come back on. And this route I've just told the guys to take, you can see the wiggling path. This is uh, the pig track. Now, if you look to the right, there's a little right turn here. That's the route onto Cribgock. Um, I just mentioned it to them to say, look, that's Cribgock. I've just seen a big group go up there. And there's not really any wind today. It's a pretty ideal day to do it, but there are a couple of them are a bit, a bit nervous, so it, it doesn't make sense to go up there and get, you know, have them being stuck and exposed ridge, which they're not used to. So we we did just discuss it whether we should do it. <laughs> I'd do it. I'd love to do Cribgock, and I've still not done it, but it's one for another day. Again, as a mountain leader, I need to be responsible. So yeah, it's not probably not better to take them up there. It's been three years since I've been up here. It's nice to come up. Oh, that's all he's doing, taking pictures of himself all the time. <laughs> Just every now and again. What's this like compared to us then? We don't get mountains like that in Australia. It's the flattest continent in the earth. But um, Is it? Yeah, flat. 
Oh, it's the odd one. We have the Glasshouse Mountains around us. Research that. Fantastic. Seven or eight really peculiar looking mountains and they're called the Glasshouse Mountains because from a distance it looks like shards of glass just coming out of the... Right, and have you been up there? Yeah, we've been up about four or five of them. There's a couple that are impassable if you're a prat. <laughs> we tried to do one called Mount um, Tipperagagan. Yeah, and it's all, it's all, it's literally like mad scramble. Yeah, it's crazy. It's quite so sheer in places. We pulled, we pulled out of it, but maybe one day, eh? It's very get... smooth to get up and uh, there's not much to stop you falling, so yeah. it was just not the right time. Yeah, I hope you went up in something better than yeah, we went, Nike trainers. We went up in crops. <laughs> <laughs> Pink ones. No sheep there, right? Just I, can't even, I can't even say all the gear and no idea. No idea. Got no gear. <laughs> Got no gear, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, me and guys used to come up here quite regular. Not on this route though, we used to just go up the Clanberries because we used to go up like half three in the morning and uh, and just do it as a bit of training. But yeah, we, I remember remember one day we came up here in the winter and we were waist deep in snow. And honest to God, we went up there and there was a guy skiing past Nobody us. Nobody will believe us. <laughs> Honestly, he was dressed in orange or red like this and he was just skiing past us. <laughs> and at that point I was like, We've got to turn back and get a full breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I said, but all right, as long as we've got water, then Gaz threw his water down this big cliff. So we had no water and we ended up turning back. If you'd have said at that point, I'm all right, as long as we've got breath in our lungs, I think I'd have threw my, myself down that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have to say, it's the only walk where I've never got to the top. <laughs> Just one of them, because he threw his water down and we went back. But it's probably, probably wise to do that. Anyway, let's motor on. You've got a nice clear view of Snowdon ahead, which you don't often see. That is beautiful. And you'll see up to the right, up to the top, the ridge that follows it round uh, is Cribgock, and to the right of it as well. Look at this. If that was Australia, it'd kill you. 100%. <laughs> it'd be venomous, poisonous, have fangs, and try and kill you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gas has killed him. Yeah. Round he's it. got a small concussion, but he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I took him off the walking path. <laughs> <laughs> he's put him right in the walking path. And just, I'll just point out the obvious as well. No cap. Can't believe it. I went into my bag to get my cap. I've forgotten it. And for anyone who knows me, I wear a cap on every hike because this hair does my head in. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit annoying today. Now look at that at the bottom. And as Mike get in the water. I'm getting in, mate. It's not very often you can get in water without shitting yourself while we live. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. I might get in then. To be fair, when I come on my hikes, I normally have a pair of swim shorts and a microfiber towel, but I haven't brought anything today. It's surprising for a Wednesday. Quite a few people up here today. And there was a big group on top of Cribgoff up there. But for now, just going to keep following this track round. We'll make our way round. Yeah, in the colder months, this can be really slippy around here. No heavy breathing, finding it really easy today as well. I caught up with the hordes of people doing this today. But I think after it, we'll, we'll come down this steep bit here and then we'll get into the water down there. Looks nice, looks nice and clear today. Yeah, look at all the people. So many people for a Wednesday. This is the only thing with coming up so late. Normally I'm down from the top by nine. <laughs> so it's a late one for me. How are you finding it? Harder than I thought, but I'm loving it. Yeah, so, Bertie, <laughs> you got it. when did you get into your hiking? It wasn't that long ago, was it? Just uh, nearly two years now. I got, no sorry, I got a year, got into it last August. So, yeah, yeah so he's been doing some of his distancey sort of things, as in like 10, 13, 14, 15 milers. But it's uh, been a few weeks since he's been out, or a little bit since he's been out. Oh, a bit too long. <laughs> Yeah, and this is his first time up Snowden, so there's no real rest, is there? No. It's just up and up. And there's like a spike in the middle, that's the top. And that's where all the paths meet. So, I say all the paths. You've got the Clanberries from the other side, that's the 
the, the tourist route but it's still a good slog up there that's a if anyone says it's an easy route it's not I've done it millions of times that's a lot that's a long way that as well and then just around from that you've got the rangers which joins onto that that's a nice route and over the other side over this side of the ridge you've got the watkins which is the waterfalls and things which is another awesome route which i will do at some stage john paul's struggling a little bit just at the back there just keeping an eye on him there's jp gaz and his brother the other one's just ahead up there i didn't really want to come back to snowden just done it that many times just a little bit bored of it but still been enjoyable today but what i really need to do it's all i can think about is doing a wild camp again i did go to do another hike with Kay last week we just didn't get a chance to do it the, the traffic was so bad getting to the lake district we just had to wild camp really low bit of a dodgy area we got away with it so i didn't film it not far off now near the top of this section i'm going to get up here with one of his brothers and then wait for the rest they're getting there they're struggling though they're not used to this though <laughs> if you're enjoying the video so far please do drop a like it's appreciated the more people like it the more people see it basically and if you like this sort of thing coming out hiking camping then also consider subscribing you get to see more videos it's free why not eh? link below just getting to the top of the track now oh the clag on the other side just going to wait around up here for the rest to, to join up you can see the train tracks here and this is a if you follow this that takes you to the clanberries down there but you can see all the clouds held back all day so luckily on our side we've had the great views lads are catching up slowly but surely I'm like you, I just like to run ahead. <laughs> yeah, you're smashing it, aren't you? Mate, it's it's just beautiful, isn't it? You just put your head down, breathe, you gotta <laughs> breathe, man. Yeah. See, some people struggle with the knees, some struggle with the legs, and some struggle with the breathing. So John Paul's struggling with his breathing today. But he's got a big bag on with loads of stuff, won't let anyone carry it, won't let anyone take anything off him, stubborn for his own good. Whereas what he should do is just take a little bit of help up here. Nothing ashamed in that make your life just that little bit easier right. yeah it's just down here now here's gaz and it'll be interesting to know on a thursday if the if the shop's open i hope it is because if it is we're going to get a pint <laughs> the very first time the shop opened i can't remember if it opened on a sunday and i think it was in 2009 and that's the very first time i ever did snowden just randomly i came up here and it was the day it opened <laughs> you wouldn't want too many though would you on the way down <laughs> yeah there's a toilet though a toilet a bit of a snack Bit of a bit of a pasty, couple of pints. Oof. Oh, <laughs> that was the hardest leg that, but then yeah. that last 20 minutes. Half an hour then was. The mine was track is nice on the way down, isn't it? It's quite easy. Yeah, it's steep enough coming down. Awesome view looking down there to the pig on the left, miners on the right. Well, I think we will keep pushing on to the summit and put the other three on under pressure to keep to catch up. Yeah. No, I mean, like when you're there. Ignore the hair, it's doing me heading without my cap, but yeah, there's the top. Uh, loads of people. But that's what you get for getting up here in the middle of the day, midweek. Can't imagine what it's like on a weekend. As I say, I've been up here about 50 times, and I'm always up here for 8 am. <laughs> 7, 8, down for 9. No people. Perfect. <laughs> or come up in bad weather as well. That's another way to do it. In snow where no one comes up. But I'll let everyone else go to the top. I'm not really that fussed. I'll go up and touch it, but I'll wait for the lads. So I'll let JP go up there first because he struggled. He's found it a little bit tough. The very first time I came to Snowden, I think it was 2009. Uh, it was a Sunday. It was my very first mountain I've ever done. And it was the day that the cafe opened randomly. I didn't know until I got here. So yeah, I was here on the very first day it opened. And I've obviously been in there numerous times now. But if you do come up here, it's not open all year round. Do check the times. But it is handy. There's a bit of a toilet break if you need it. Um, but there's a shop. Why you want a shop at the top, I don't know. But because well, I've come with the lads today, we'll have a, we'll have a few beers. Right, I suppose you should go and touch that and get it out of the way. Got all the people. How'd you find that? 
That was hard, but well worth it. There you go. So worth it. Sony wanted a little rest at the bottom of there, said no, get your ass up here. Come touch it. That's his reward. That's typical with Snowden this time, no view. They're probably clear. But there you go. Touch the top. I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll move. Let all these get a picture. And that's the view off the back. That's the Watkins path. Just down there. Come on, Bertie, hurry up. I'll get a picture of us all on this as well. Come on. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There we go, all made it. Quick on the video. But now I'm going to put it away for a picture. Time for a beer in here. Yeah, it's ages since I've been in here. But you can get something to eat, you can get a pint, so we'll get a couple of pints and enjoy the view out the window. Beautiful. Cheers. You're used to the heat though, aren't you? Yeah. Well, it's cold at the minute. It's cold at the minute, actually. It's, it's cold. It's cold, cold too. <laughs> this, is, what, this is warm, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah. 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 So at night, <laughs> at, night, <laughs> at, night yes. at the moment, it's probably oh, like 21, 22. And in the day, you can get well, the other day, it was 32. Well, we've had a nice relax in the cafe at the top, just one beer. It's just clearing the cloud and the clag as we head uh, back down again. What a day for it, eh? Beautiful. Gaz is moaning it's cold all the time. <laughs> and for us... It's just for effect, that. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I live in Australia, it's cold here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for Gaz it's cold. For us, there's only three of us here, UK boy, or three of us. It's actually a nice day today. The long slog back to Clamberis. But we'll be back down the pig. And then at the, uh, at the bottom we'll take it down the miners. <laughs> yeah, just put my jacket on, just, just to take off the... Uh, yeah, but I feel bad that I've not got, I'm not rocking the orange. And I've got no orange cap, not on the brand colours. Here you go, here's a fantastic view of Cribgock along the top. And up there and back down to the path where we joined. train back. I did ask a couple of ladies who were up there how much it was and it's £9 each way. Someone told me it was a fortune but yeah £9 each way so if you ever do it walk up and if you want to get the train down you can. I'm not sure what this route is around here actually around the top but I think this would be nice as well a nice little ridge. So this path down here a bit on this left hand side is the rangers. It takes you back alongside the water and over a little train bridge and that's a really good way to come there's a mountain just behind here or a hill and um and you get a lovely reflection over there i've been on there that's on my it's an old video scroll right down uh, it was a caft video for charity that i did that and the clan perry's path is uh, is just over the other side but we're going to come up we're going to go down roughly the way we came but we'll go down the miners I mean, I really want to do Cribcock, but I can't with the lads today. But I'll definitely come another time. There couldn't be more perfect conditions, look. Awesome. Well, on the side of the mountain. <laughs> What's that? Footwork. Who, mine? Not mine. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 this is why I often run down here. It's easier when you're running. So zigzag path down and we'll stay low and get onto the miners. Can someone fall for the camera? <laughs> oh oh there we go. <laughs> Yeah, we're just making ourselves a little way off piste just to get down to the lake at the bottom. Just skirting round as best we can. 
cutting out the corners. Because as you know, if you've watched all my videos, it's good to get off the path as well. It's a little bit like a, a, a highway, obviously, on it, because everyone does it, but... You know, a lot of people moan, saying, oh, there's too many people. I know I said before, there's a lot of people, but it's popular and it's really good to do. I mean, if you've not done Snowdon, get up there, why not? And if you have, you know, what routes have you done? What, what do you prefer? Most people do the pig track, but what other routes have you done? Let me know, so let me know below. If anyone's interested in a guided hike, maybe up the Watkins, because there's places to get in the water there, I'd be happy to put one on there. Just come off the path a little bit, left the lads up there. As you can probably see, it's steep. <laughs> Get to a flat bit. Wow, size of these. And there's the lads at the top. There we go. <laughs> A little bit more extreme from this side. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I always like to say it's good to get off the paths and explore. See the bits that see the bits that other people don't see. Adventure, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Nearly. But that's what we learned as uh, doing our mountain leader training. When you come out here, it's all about coming out for an adventure and an experience. And the idea of a mountain leader is to get you off the paths. There'd be no point in having mountain leaders if everyone was just walking on the paths. You don't need them. You can see the path that we're going to come onto there. I'm not sure what's going on in the middle there, whether there's a sheer drop or we can get across. Aaron's come down with me. He's just behind, just in this little crater. Here he is. And the lads have taken the top route, or well, they've carried on on the path. So they're up there somewhere. Could have a little explore and you might find some little camping spots or just like a little guy like this here just having a little chill on top yeah that's what we've just come down this like waterfall stream look at the water below beautiful today isn't it so we're just working our way down climbing which is fine Winging it all the way. And now back on a path. If you do come down the miners, it's um it's steep coming down. To get to get down to the miners, but then it's flat. It's literally flat for ages. Um, I think it's a bit boring. It's a bit long, and um, but you walk past the water. Um, you know, you'll see a few different things. There's a little ruin, if I remember rightly, further on. So it is it is good to do it just to vary up a little bit. But um, coming back down the pig track is a lot easier and a lot quicker, I think, as well. But it's nice to vary up and do different routes. All the kids at the bottom there, they're down now. Chucking stuff in the water, skimming stones. But once we're back there, it's literally a, a flat run all the way back. But you do end up back at the same car park at Penny Pass. I think I mentioned it before about the cost. It's 20 quid. It's a fortune. Um, but you have to do that now, and that's because of lockdown. Everyone was parking on the roads, blocking them, and they decided they're not, you know, they want to put people off coming really. So now it's, uh, yeah, 20 quid. Are you finding it coming down better? A lot better. It's still harder than these, but it's yeah. a lot easier. It's just different, isn't it? A lot e different. Easier on your breathing, but now on your knees. Yeah. So there's always pros and cons to it, but <laughs> that's what you get. You get into this. That's the pros and cons to it. Yeah. When people hike, they always talk about the hills being the worst part. I love the hills. I, I thrive on the hills. Hills and mountains are my favourite. I, like, when I'm a lot fitter, I can climb and be happy. But. Yeah, but coming down, that's where people struggle yeah. with, with the knees and things. And that's it. You rush too hard, you end up injuring yourself, and then 
your knees hurt, but I've learned the best remedy is you just get home, hot baths, hot water bottles, cold packs on your knees and a bit of rest before you know it. Two or three hours. You, <laughs> you say that, you'll be feeling it tomorrow. <laughs> Well, needless to say, it's busy down here. It's nice, though. Epic views of Snowdon. Get your feet. You get in? <laughs> Could do, yeah. Some people getting in over there. Can't dry ourselves, but. I'll be right. Is Fat Chris getting in? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. I'll show you how to do it. Come on, Chris, lad. <sighs> and we just go three, two, <laughs> one, breathing. <laughs> Better? Do it. Better. Can, count me in, boys. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Oh, Come on, guys. Come on, lads. Once you're in, it's all right. It's always a muscle. Three, two, one. Come on. Three, Whoa. two, Shit. one. Oh, shit. Sugar, 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 sugar. It's not bad, but... I tell you what, it's only cold on me. My hands. Put one in, that's the main thing, right? Get in, bro. Ah, Come on. Yeah, it's cold, but you know what? Good for our legs, good for our body. I'm nice and chill now. It's your hands, yeah. It's your hands, yeah, it's cold. Right, time to get out. <laughs> I'll bring you back when we're changed. <laughs> right, we're all dry feeling really fresh a few other people have copied us now and jumped in but yeah that was lovely all feeling good we all got in even though they didn't want to at first some of them didn't want to some did but we all got in but if anyone knows where is that ridge up there because it looks awesome and i'd love to do it but i have no idea what it's called but yeah please drop a drop comment below and let me know what it is i've had a little look on os maps and i can't really see it so i'll have a look when i get home but yeah do let me know and if i think i know what it is i'll put it below here now but i don't think i do I say it's a lot slower this way but we've come down to the main lake now where we where we go across and this is where there's a little abandoned old building this would be good to have my little uh, fpv drone flying around this it's just a little bit more interesting coming down here it's just again got all the bits of the water to come in I'm sure you could easily get a little cheeky camp in here as well but I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to plan might bring Kay back and do a, a, a wild camp over here it's brilliant on that last lake, great to get in the water and you're pretty protected here in the mountains so yeah I think I'll do that yeah look, old building yeah. Awesome skyline. This should be perfect for camping as well. Little wild camps on here. Loads of spaces. Or on top of here. Definitely come to another video that. I'll never forget my cap again. So annoying. I know it's a little bit different today's video. I've not set the camera up and done much walking. I've just been talking to the camera and talking with the lads, but today for me is all about, I came out to meet Gaz again. It's so many years since I spoke to him. So I come out, last minute, I wasn't gonna come this morning. I got up and I thought, yeah, I'll come and meet them. They were gonna go up the clan berries, so I said, I'll take them up the pig. And I wanted to bring the GoPro along. So I've just basically captured while I've been here. So I know it's a little bit different to my normal videos, but hopefully you don't mind it. And you still got to see what it's like to do Snowden. I've been up here 50 times and I think I've only got one video, maybe two videos. No, I might have two or three videos on my channel. Quite old, if you look down. I've got some really good ones actually in, in um, some challenging weather, but it's always good to come back to places like this every now and then. And I've enjoyed it today. I, I was kind of put off coming here for ages because I've done it so many times, but 
I think I've reinvigorated myself with Snowden, so. Right, let's keep going. I'm gonna go and have another chat with the lads. And I might encourage them to see if they fancy going for a pint on the way back. Ooh. Why not? So yeah, how was that then? It wasn't bad at all. Track I've not done up this mountain, so another one off the list. <laughs> yeah, we always used to come up the clamberries, as I said before, but yeah, really enjoyed it. We're all getting back. I'm sure someone will have some sore legs tomorrow. Uh, really busy today. It's a Thursday. It's a Wednesday. Um, I'm surprised there's so many people. All the kids are back in school and stuff. But yeah, loads of people today. Yeah, it's a Thursday. Is it Thursday? All right. So it's Thursday. Yeah, I'm not even sure myself. So yeah, it's Thursday. But we're nearly back now. So I'm going to sign off the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a little bit about maybe hiking Snowdon. There's loads of different routes to do this. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. And, um, and stay tuned for what's coming next week. Now, I haven't got anything planned at the moment, but I would like your feedback. Um, I do fancy a wild camp, so if there's a certain location or one of my tents that you want to see, please do let me know, and then I can try and, I, I can try and build that into what I want to do. But other than that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.